Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana and today is Tacos de Lengua Day. That's right, we are making beef tongue tacos. These are a true delicacy, melting your mouth delicious, very flavorful. So if you love Mexican food, then you have to learn how to make these. That way you don't miss out. Let's get started. We are starting with the star of the show, a two and a half pound beef tongue. There's no surprises here because it looks just like its name, tongue. These are sold whole and with a membrane still attached. Start by removing any excess fat from the back as it will not serve any purpose when cooked. All it does is turn very chewy. This one's clean, but it doesn't hurt to check and remove any the butcher may have missed. The tongue is hard as is because it is a very active muscle. It needs to be cooked slowly for several hours until it becomes super tender. You can cook it whole, but to cut down on the cooking time, I'm going to cut it into several medium-sized pieces. This cut is used in many cuisines all over the world due to its flavor and tender texture. You guessed it right, it is widely popular in Mexico. If you love tacos, this is at the top of any authentic taqueria menu. The entire muscle becomes tender once cooked and it is considered a true delicacy, sold in every corner taco stand in Mexico. We are going to cook the tongue in boiling water, but we need some aromatics to impart flavor. This is how it's going down. Place all the pieces of lengua in a large pot and add half of a large white onion. Up next, we have four small dried guajillo chiles. It is a very commonly used ingredient in Mexican cuisine, not only for its color, but also because it imparts a lightly sweet, smoky flavor. All I'm doing here is removing the seeds because I don't want them just floating around. We won't be toasting them today, just rinse them before adding them to the pot. Take a head of garlic and slice in half. Then, enthusiastically, add it to the pot. You know its slightly spicy flavor is going to do great things. We also need four small bay leaves. If you smell these, take notice of their herbal and floral tones. Pour in half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, half a teaspoon of dry oregano, and one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. Finally, pour in roughly eight cups of water or until everything is completely submerged. Now that we have everything ready, transfer to the stove and allow it to reach a boil over medium high heat. Before I forget, we need to add five small sprigs of yerba buena or mint. You can remove any foam that may form over the broth if needed. When it begins to boil, lower to medium low heat and cover. Allow it to cook for approximately one and a half to two hours or until the meat is tender. Meanwhile, let's make the salsa. Once you taste this bright orange concoction, it will become the center of conversation. It's that good. Packed in flavor, smooth, velvety, the perfect salsa taquera. You can use any type of red tomato. I myself happen to have an heirloom tomato for my garden and I could not pass the chance to use it. For a tour of my garden, feel free to check out my grilled fish video. This is the first harvest as far as tomato goes. Remove the core and roughly dice them. We are using 14 ounces and Roma is a good option as well. They don't need to be perfect. Also dice half of a medium white onion into roughly the same size as the tomato so they can cook evenly. To add depth, we need to toast two teaspoons of sesame seeds. They are so tiny in size, you will be surprised that such big flavors can come from such a small seed. Do this over medium heat and once they become golden brown and release their fragrance, about three minutes, remove from the pan. Next, add about four tablespoons of grapeseed oil or any neutral oil you may have and allow it to get hot. Then fry one corn tortilla until crispy and golden brown on both sides. Lower to medium low heat, add the onions and four garlic cloves. Stir as needed until slightly softened, then stir in the tomatoes. 
Allow it to cook until the tomatoes and onions are completely cooked through and the juices of the tomatoes have released. It will take about six minutes and of course, stir as needed. Now mix in a third of a cup of dry chiles de arbol and let them slightly soften while frequently stirring since we don't want the chilies to burn. After about three minutes, remove the pan from the heat and allow everything to cool down. The tongue is looking great, cooking in a light simmer, slowly infusing in all the qualities from the ingredients as it tenderizes. What a great process. We are almost there, but let's finish the salsa. The ingredients are slightly warm, but if you have the time to let them cool down completely, do so. Transfer the tomato mix to a blender and break the corn tortilla by hand and drop it in with the cooked mix. Additionally, add in the sesame seeds, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar, and puree. When smooth and completely broken down, pour in a quarter of a cup of grapeseed oil in a steady, thin stream. It has to be done slowly and in a very thin stream, otherwise the salsa can break if added fast. When done, it should be creamy, smooth, velvety, and rich. Enough of me talking. Check out the consistency and color. As you may know, you can use store-bought or homemade tortillas to make these tacos. If you think store-bought, I suggest using two per taco. They will hold better. I'm using homemade, Sometimes you just want that feeling of accomplishment when your tortillas fluff up. Nothing beats it. You can check out my video on how to make homemade corn tortillas. There I share the step-by-step -step process. For this particular recipe, I'm making smaller tortillas since we will be using them for tacos. The lengua should be done by now. I could not be more proud. Just by looking at it, I know this is going to taste amazing flavorful and tender. Remove from the broth. See what happens when I insert a fork. Check it out. There's no resistance. It's that tender. This part is crucial. We have to remove the skin and this has to be done while it's still hot. What I recommend you do is wear heat resistant kitchen gloves or use a pair of tongs or even a fork to get the step done. I'm able to handle the heat, but take precautions. No need to burn yourself. The reason I'm doing it this way is because it is easier to peel the skin while still hot. When done peeling, finely chop the now tender muscle. This is the time where everyone wants to have a taste. You can go ahead and make the tacos at this point, but we're adding a step, a very simple one that will elevate this dish even higher. We are going to brown the lengua to add an extra layer of flavor. But before we do so, add lard or oil to the pan, your choice. I'm using lard. Once hot and melted, add in a handful of green onions. I did cut the green part off. I'm going to saute eight sliced in half until slightly softened because I do like to preserve some of the crunch while still obtaining some browning. Now add about one teaspoon of lard or oil and brown the lengua. I'm doing this over medium high heat. If it gets too hot, you can lower the heat. We need just enough to get a nice browning throughout the tongue. This is the moment to add salt if needed. I'm adding half a teaspoon of kosher salt and giving it a good mix. You can heat the corn tortillas on a comal or over a touch of lard or oil. I'm taking advantage of the fat that's left in the pan. You can add more for the rest of the tortillas if that's your choice. Now that everything is ready, it's taco time. Fill the tortilla with the tender meat, chopped white onion, chopped cilantro, drizzled lime juice, 
and pour in the salsa right in the middle and as much as you like this salsa is amazing we can't forget the sauteed onions just lay them on the side Echate un taco de ojo if translated straight into english it would literally mean have a night taco but that's not what i mean it's a saying meaning something is really good to look at and these tacos sure are good looking starting with the homemade tortillas the tender flavorful brown tongue our vibrant hard to resist velvety salsa and the sauteed onions that squeeze of lime juice really gets me it's so hard to wait but the first bite is completely worth it look at that bright salsa the brown lengua let's go ahead and dig in and i created this how exciting so proud okay Mmm, these are out of this world, delicious. Then take some of this onion. Good, perfect. They still have a little bit of a crunch, so good. This is it. These are the real deal, the best beef tongue tacos you are ever gonna have they're incredible all right well i really hope you enjoyed this recipe remember that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms and do not forget to subscribe like this video and click the notification bell until the next one